time for the Northwest Fishing Reports with Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. Today is part two of our special edition 2017 Zabalos Adventure. The guys fill the boat with tons of ocean caught fish and get some great tips from Real Obsession owner Adrian O'Connor. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by your Inland Northwest Toyota dealers and the Fishing Hole and Sports Shop. We got our stuff and rod baited up here, enjoying a beautiful morning. Let's get on it. Let's get on it. Day two. So about how, Adrian, about how deep is it here? We are in 130 feet right now. Mm -hmm. We've got our gear down pretty close to bottom. Okay. Yeah, basically we take it down to bottom, just bring it up a few feet. We Can see I take a look at this real quick? That's a herring and a, and a teaser head, colored bloody nose, glow green flasher. Get that hook set in, just behind the dorsal fin there, just get a little bend in it. And look for a little tight roll with these early fish here. Sure. And uh, yeah. And that's it, that'll, huh? Yeah, that'll take salmon, halibut, bottom fish, even wow. halibut if they're around. This is a spot that we get a little bit of everything. Right. Bit of mixed bag. Fish on! Bust those knuckles. Got a little size to it. Yeah. Our knuckle buster reels here. Watch them. They'll spin. That's a good fish. Beautiful calm day out here on the ocean with Rural Obsession Sport Fishing. Adrian O'Connor getting us on the fish first thing in the morning. That's good there for a second. Oh, it's a some fish and chips to start the morning. Just one for the box. They gotta be one of my favorite ones to eat out of the ocean around here. That one's just bouncing ball. Slack, you keep it up until it's tight again, get it under. Okay. We're using our salmon gear, so it is still barbless hooks, right? Right. Because there's a chance we get a salmon. If you catch the salmon with a barb hook, you're supposed to let it go, right? So, sure. So we are using the salmon gear down there. All right. Still, you can still shake it off a little easier than, uh, than a barb hook. We got a wing. He's an eater, huh? Oh yeah. It's about the same size as the other one. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get a lot of real big ones in this spot here, but uh, most of them are, are keeper size, great eating fish. Mm-hmm. Look what he's got uh, in his stomach. What he had for breakfast there? <laughs> there. Oh, that. No, that's not the one out of our uh, our. But it's about the exact same size as the ones we're using. So no wonder they're on it, eh? Right. Yeah. Matching the hatch. Yeah. Match the hatch. The five is definitely on this morning. It's been pretty much non-stop since we started. Probably another keeper lane. We'll see. I'd like to think he has big brothers and sisters. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe we'll start 
to get a little little choosier now with uh, with the size of our fish the next ones. Look for a few bigger fish now that we got up one in the box for each of us. Not a bit of weight on this guy. Funny how he does that. He's like, now we're gonna get some bigger fish. <laughs> oh yeah. It's nice to be able to be selective. Not a bad fish. Yeah. What's the limit on wings out here? Uh, two per person a day. Your possession limit is four. You're allowed to travel home with four. Coming yet. Got some double action going on here. Pop mine. Pop yours. Little guy. Oh, just woke up. <laughs> oh. How's that feel, Mike? I like the other ones. Yeah? It sort of changed the life. <laughs> Well, now might be a good time to remind everybody that we're coming back next year to Zabalas for our third annual BC Adventure. We'll have more information later in the show about how to get a hold of Adrian, get your reservations in soon. It's a great time. You don't want to miss out. If you can get out here, definitely book early because spots are going to fill up. This show brought to you in part by the Toyota dealers of the Inland Northwest. More action after the break. Let's go I places. Oh, I, well, I right. over here. Let's go to Zabalas. <laughs> <laughs>of the main components when you're walleye fishing the technique we're using are what are called bottom bouncers and these are the only bottom bouncers I've ever seen in the store these L-shaped but Ted you have a different setup and I should note Ted does uh, a lot of walleye tournaments so little attention to details <laughs> here so tell us your system okay I won't give away all my secrets though Mike ah. Um, what I'm using is what we call a slider bottom bouncer. I have a little black clevis on here that I attach this single lead uh, weight onto. This is a uh, really simple to put on. Just push it on. Now that allows that to slide. And the reason I do that is when I've got fish that are light biting, they're allowed to pick that bait up and swim with it and the line goes through. They don't feel the weight like they would on the L shape. The L-shaped bottom bouncer, you'll see I have a chain on here. It's a chain swivel with a Duloc snap on it. These chain swivels, Duloc's, all these components are available at Max Lure. In the river system, where you got a lot of current, I put a chain on here because when you're using a spinner or smile blade, this keeps your line from twisting. I don't know if you've ever fished in the current with no swivel on, your line starts twisting after a little bit of trolling. This prevents that from happening. Another nice fish using Max components and a UV holographic smile blade. He's not happy about being invited aboard. That's okay. Fish are food, not friends. Let's all welcome him aboard. Yeah. Slide right into that corner there for us, Aaron. Try to bring him up around the side when he's ready. Keep going.
gotta be ready by now. Wind up, wind. Lift up, lift up. There we go. That's a big one yesterday. That's a nice one. That, about the same size, I think, is a beautiful fish. Fish, Aaron. Yeah. Nice fish, buddy. That is a beauty. Beauty. He's right about the same size, right around that 20 pound mark, about that one you got yesterday morning there, right? Knuckle busted? I got knuckle busted. Oh, That's a big, big fish. fish. That's a big, powerful fish. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Okay, nice. Let's go. Line, 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 line. Good job, Aaron. Good job. Good job. Good job. Took a lot of line early. This is one big fish. Aaron was kind enough to hand off the rod. He's had a couple nice fish this trip. And I'll take a rod hand off today. There we go. Yeah. Beauty. Look at the colors on that man. Isn't that beautiful? Some nice good. fish here today, guys. Oh! Good job. And then no banana spoon, you guys remember that one from last Jeez, year, I bet, that eh? That's a nice fish, Mike. Yeah. Wow, buddy. So we're in the 25 pound range, you think, on this guy? Yeah, he's close. Yeah. He's, he's close, yeah, definitely. Wow. Look at the colors, eh? Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Love them. Yeah. So powerful, fish. ocean bright. Yep. Can't oh, beat him. He, he took a run like crazy. Can't beat him. With real obsession, sport fishing out of Zabalus. Adrian? Bites on. Let's Bite get the gear back on. in the water. Get some more. All right. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, that was still a nice fish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. It yeah, looks like uh, someone's got a bite. I tried to take a chunk out of them at one point. All right. It's healed up a little. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, fun. Right we had one slot open, too, huh? Yeah, that, 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 that limits us out on our uh, lane cod for the day. Mm. Yep. Beautiful. Lots more fishing to come here with Adrian O'Connor. Let's go uh, get the gear in the water for the halibut. I always like to keep the tension on the anchor, that way the chain doesn't fall to the bottom and loop up around the rock or around the anchor. This way it'll fall the way we want it to set and uh, hook up properly and be able to come back up properly too. Well, we're anchored up now for halibut here. We've got uh, four, uh, four bait rods down on the bottom and uh, one lighter uh, jigging rod. Got lots of bait under the boat. We're right where we were catching salmon, so never know what you'll get on this rod. Could pick up a halibut, link cod, a salmon, right? So. Get a little jigging. Yeah. Yeah, There's another option down there. Tide change coming up in about an hour and a half, so. Uh, we'll see when that bite comes on, but it'll happen. We get some nice big fish in this spot. Adrian's got several boats out today, uh, our members on this member adventure, so let's check in with them and see how they're doing. Wow, that's wild, wow, Dan. Yeah, 
Oh, I got it. <laughs> give me another. Give me another. <laughs> NorthwestFishingReports.com is the Northwest's largest fishing reports website, featuring well over 50,000 fishing reports, videos, articles, and more, all 100% free. Uh, we got salmon belly on a couple of rods, and we got mackerel on a couple of rods, so giving them a little bit of an option. <laughs> what happened? It was just a little baby. This guy suddenly came awake and then wasn't quite ready for that. Oh. Did he almost pull you over? <laughs> he almost pulled me in. So here in Canada you get one undersized, right? Yeah, undersized is uh, 83 centimeters. Uh, about uh, 32 inches or something, and, uh, and then one 133 centimeters if you're around 56 inches. Or undersized up to that. <laughs> 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 that's pretty good size for the undersized, isn't it? Oh, that's that one actually. He's probably bang, right bang on that 83, yeah. Yeah, he's a perfect, uh, perfect under. Nice. They can be the tougher ones to get sometimes, right? Well, he really had a run off at the end there. It's just a nice finish. Cool. Gonna have to get over to the other box when we get our big halibut here. in the water. There we go, that's a gooder. Oh yeah. Well, we're to 270 feet, my friend. Here and again, we're fishing how deep? We are 260 feet here, just on top of a little mound, surrounded by about 280, a um, little boulder pile. Holds lots of rock fish, octopus, and stuff these guys like to eat. See him coming up on the sounder there. So. Yeah, we're getting close. I think we're uh, oh, yeah, 40 feet. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah. Okay, keep him under the water. Oh, oh that's a fish. There's a nice one. Oh, one second. Uh, that other rod going off there. Keep him down under the water for a sec. Okay, one more little wine. One out. No, that's good. You just hold under the rod. Perfect. <laughs> nice job. Oh, oh. 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 And got a double header of halibut. We're battling these guys, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes into this. Two great fish. Oh, ho, ho, yeah! Oh, another beauty. Another beauty. Woo! 
Cool. Hey, buddy, I think that's our halibut for today. Huh? That is our halibut, yeah. We've released a few nice ones. Got a few nice ones in the box there. Oh. Halibut, salmon, wing cod. A couple yellow eye in the box. Yellow eye. Unreal. What, what a lot of fun. This is awesome, man. Well, let's release that fish on the other side there, right. get the gear up, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Find some salmon, okay. Yeah. It's working, buddy. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's working. We're getting them in, man. That's awesome. Oh, that's a good one. He's a good one. Aaron, you're you're up to bat, buddy. Yep. Up. All right. Fish. <laughs> Lights on. That's good. We're hitting on every pass there now. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Fun stuff. and herring, uh, bloody nose color, glow green, silver flasher. We run uh, almost about a six foot leader off of that one. I, I, like, I like to run a trailer hook off mine. Um, I find you miss a lot of bites with that. So we're using a, uh, a barbless uh, three-aught Gamagatsu on the back there. Smaller size herring will fit in this okay. uh, teaser head as well. Push that head in as far as you can. Pin just goes in. There is a flat side on the hook. I always put the flat side along the bait, the uh, body of the anchovy. There's many different hook placements that you can put in it. This time All of the right. year, we got pretty fresh young fish. Um, I like to use a tight roll, uh, a quick little roll that. Yeah. Uh, entices these fish definitely. Well it's been working great for us that's for sure. So and uh, on the other side that we actually probably had a little better success with this morning um, was the spoon here. This is no uh, no bananas color made by uh, Gibbs Tackle. It's a g-force spoon very similar to the coyote spoon. Okay. Uh, this morning the silver glow uh, with the purple edges on it. Okay. Um, on all these spoons we take the hook off from the factory um, I put a 3 aught on here, must add ultra point, barbs pinched down, we open it up and smell a little bit. The factory hooks are good for a fish or two and then they tend to bend, um, so it's always good to change out your hooks and put something on that you're, you're a lot more confident in. Excellent. Yeah, you can see that was a brand new spoon when we started the trip, it's yeah. uh, got a few teeth marks in it, it's hit a few fish. It does. Springs you guys caught today, just a few hours ago, and I'm just backpacking them up.